Well guys, deer season 2023 is it's quickly approaching. We've got, we're at the end of June, beginning of July. In one of my previous videos, I had talked about getting a dozer out of my place to clear out some small trees, possibly out of pond, um, all this to create more food and cover for the deer. So as you guys can probably hear, I've got a dozer behind me actually right now. He's getting to work, so we're excited to get this project rolling. We're excited to try to get the seed in the ground before we got the rain. Today's Friday. Um, we'll be getting rain possibly Saturday, Sunday, um, and maybe some scattered storms next week. So we need to get that seed in the ground, get it ready. But we've got a couple nice bucks showing up on camera already. Uh, we're excited to see what we've got rolling in. We know we've got more coming on camera. We've got a couple other pieces of properties. So we got to get cameras out, um, get some inventories, uh, try to see if we can get on some, some really good bucks. Like I said, we've got one showing up right now, actually, up in northern Oklahoma that we're really, really excited about. So as things start kicking off, um, we're getting food plots ready. We're getting seed in the ground. We're getting cameras out. Um, it's coming quickly. It's right around the corner. So we can't wait for October 1st. Stay with us, guys. We appreciate it. All right, guys, we got the dozer operator on the way. So he's going to go back in the food plot and he's going to go ahead and clear out pretty much all the trees that are back there. This is going to make it to where we can plant more food. We're planning on planting corn and soybeans. Uh, we'll probably do about a half an acre of each and then we might do a little clover plot. So he will be here in about 20 minutes and uh, yeah, we'll be up on the dozer getting some stuff done. Oop, we got the dozer operator calling. What's up, dude? Hey, uh, you bring your golf cart down here and block traffic, so I don't want to put the residents in here when I come out of it. Yeah? Are you over there right now? Yeah, I'm sitting right here up in there. If you can't see left or right, I don't want to pump that blade up there. Yeah, I got you. That one's kind of sketchy. Y'all head over there right now. Alright, I appreciate it. Yep, bye. All right, so we're headed over uh, across the street. I've got a buddy, uh, he owns 10 Arrows Contracting. If you ever need any dirt work done, if you're in Oklahoma, they're a phenomenal company. But he's doing a project across the street from my house and conveniently he's got the dozer over there. So we are gonna have him bring his dozer over to my house, uh, take it behind the food plot and do some clearing. I'm hoping that GoPro isn't just rattling its brain because we are on a golf cart on a gravel road. And and shake it. All right, so heading down the creek is gonna be one of the more difficult parts. It's a little steep. He's gonna to have to take out a few trees um, in order to get this dozer up across here. But once we get it on the other side, we're gonna to go to town and start clearing. I mean, every single tree in the, in the, uh, the back there. Uh, right now I've got a little over or a little under a quarter acre food plot, but uh, This is gonna make it a little bit more like three quarters of an acre. So it's gonna be provide a lot more food and uh, I'm excited so we're gonna hop off here and uh, kind of guide him down into this creek and see what we can come up with half of it and then on the other half we're going to be soybean. So it should look pretty cool. Giant. Yes sir. We're breeding giants out here. Boy. Here we go. Here starts the construction. Exciting.
Wow, this is wild. We're literally taking all these trees out. I mean, it's happening. I'm gonna basically get him to shove all the trees as far as he can toward the creek instead of putting it into a big burn pile. I think that's really gonna make it a lot easier. That way I don't have to sit here and burn for two weeks. We've got rain coming Saturday, and today is Thursday. So we're trying to get this stuff ripped up, get it done today, and then tomorrow, we'll probably come over here with a tiller, get everything ready to plant, and then we'll have the seed in the ground Friday night. So we should be in time for the rain. It's a beautiful thing. We're getting all this pushed back because there's more flat land before it dips down in there in the creek. We're gonna utilize as much flat, the flat land as much as we can. That way we can stick the blind further back in there and bring the food that much further back here. Cause you can see, you can see where my little food plot was here, the clover plot. And then we planted the sorghum here to kind of block, you know, us from going in the blind. Now we're gonna push that blind even further back, which will bring the food this way a whole lot more. So that's the goal. Try to create as much as much room for as much as we possibly can. We've got those five or six wheat fields right back there, just probably 150 yards, and they go for about probably three quarters to a mile back that away. So this clover does good, but when it comes to wheat, you know, when, when they start feeling any kind of pressure here, I mean, I just live, I just live right back there. So when they start feeling any kind of pressure here for me or the neighbors. You know, they're good, they're safe and secure back there by that wheat. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do corn and soybeans. I think that's really gonna switch the game up. My property goes back that way even more, but the creek is in the middle of that. So we're trying to use as much as we can here in this flat part to create as much food as possible. I'd say we're about halfway done. It's hot out here, it's about 102 degrees. The end of June. Yes, sir, it is happening. Love to see it. Now we got a plant. Ten Arrows Contracting. You can find them on Facebook, their website, tenarrowscontracting.com. They do a phenomenal job. They've got several dozers, big dozers, excavators, skid steers, they can do it all. Build pads, clear food plots out like this. They build ponds. Great company. Ten Arrows, contracting. All right, I just went to town and got something to eat. We're back, let's see the progress, see what it looks like. Oh yeah, he's got a bunch of it cleared out. I mean, we're really getting somewhere now. It looks beautiful. That's the fence line right there. So all this will be planted in that real tall stuff. And then all of this will be corn here. And then that whole section across that tree line, that'll all be soybeans. It's looking beautiful. Can't wait to get that stuff planted tomorrow evening. Here goes the last big tree we're taking out. There she goes. That's the last big one. Talk to uh, Ross Seed. They're gonna hook me up with some hybrid corn seed. It's coated, I guess it's 
really good for growing. So we're going to go down tomorrow and get some of that. And then I'll probably end up buying the soybeans off my buddy. He already ordered them, but he's not going to plant it for about another month. So I'll just order some for him and take his. Might as well. We got rain coming this weekend, so I need to see. I could have been a little bit better prepared, but I'm uh, kind of a procrastinator. But this is looking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so basically we got this guy for about 12 to 15 hours. We're going to utilize our time and try to put a little pond in for what time we have left. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit more grading. He's going to knock a few more trees out. And then, uh, yeah, that should give us about enough time to where we're going to get the seed planted, uh, get the tiller back there, and get things wrapped up. He's rocking and rolling, baby. He's got things motorboating. We're getting things cleared out, and it's almost time to get the tiller back here. One of the things I had him do was we had, my property line goes up right back there, but we had him go ahead and take, there was a group of trees out running in kind of a little draw there. So I had him take that group of trees out. I had him take this group of trees out, basically clear the whole entire fence line. Um, so what we're gonna end up doing here, instead of having just a group of trees that's doing absolutely nothing, uh, but taking up room, that's gonna provide more cover for the deer. And we're potentially, if you can see this, there's a little draw here. I don't know how well you can see it. It kind of runs off into the creek but we're gonna potentially take all this dirt and push it back to make a pond. So we have this natural natural little hole right here that's kind of going down in toward the creek, but it'd be a perfect bowl to basically take up, take some dirt and push it around there, dam it up kind of toward the fence line and make a little watering hole. We'll put a liner in it and fill it up with some dirt. And like I said yesterday, I've got a hose that can reach this. So I'll be filling it up with, with a hose. It'll be more or less a mosquito hole, but it'll also create uh, a pond, a natural pond for the deer. And hopefully that'll enhance them coming back here that much more. So yeah, we've got some exciting things happening. I'm excited to get some water in this puppy. He is just going at it. Deer season 2023 might be the most exciting one we've had yet. Well, I just got done talking to the dozer operator, old Ryland. He's gonna start getting on this pond. I think what we're gonna do is try to make it small. Uh, but we've got some, the water naturally flows this way. So he's gonna try to kind of create a spillway over here. That way the water kind of starts to wrap around and possibly go in the pond. That would be the best bet. He's gonna work on it and see what he can do. But I'm excited to get this thing rocking and rolling. Hopefully we have a pond by the next couple of hours and we'll get the other tractor back in here and start doing some tilling. He's pushing the topsoil out of there. We're gonna get that up on this hill so we can use that in other areas to get things to grow better. See if we can find some good red clay down in this hole to get that water to hold, but I'm gonna put a liner in it anyway, so it doesn't matter. We are in the pond, where it will be. I'm trying to save this big tree, that is a beautiful tree. It's 
So, you know, when you're getting a pond built, you want to make sure that you hire the right contractor at 10 Arrows. I mean, they really go above and beyond. They make sure to pack the dam really good. They make sure that there's a good clay base for the water to hold. I mean, they really make the pond beautiful. When you're hiring a contractor, you want to make sure that they do what you want them to do. 10 Arrows really goes above and beyond. They make sure to come out and give you a free estimate. They build the pond that you want. I mean, they make sure it's absolutely beautiful, that it holds water. I mean, they do a phenomenal job. I mean, I really can't say enough about this company. I mean, they came in, they got this project for me done in the timeline that I needed it done in. Very quick turnaround. They got it done in a day. I mean, just phenomenal to work with. These guys are great. Wow, so really hard decision. I've contemplated not taking this tree out, but we've got persuasion here. It's really doing me no good. It's a beautiful tree, but it's gonna, I think it's gonna create too much shade and I think we're just gonna get rid of it. Well, Rylan got everything done with the dozer. Now it's on to cutting roots out with a chainsaw. I didn't have them back drag everything uh, or rip the ground as much as it needed it just because of the topsoil issue. So we're gonna go ahead and hand cut all these roots down. And then I've got my buddy Will back here and he's gonna get everything tilled, Tillery Clinton. And uh, while well, we're trying to keep batteries from falling off here. Um, but anyhow, yep, we've got our work cut out for us. We're gonna try to get this stuff planted. We've only got a few hours, so. Here's to nothing. Let's get him, guys. We're back here picking up some mess in the food plot. This crazy cow came out of nowhere. Let's get him, guys. Ha! I don't know who it belongs to. Ha! 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 Get him, guys! Well guys, I'm sitting here. I've got a, uh, a harrow that we bought. It's a, uh, it's basically a drag that, you, you know, it should pick up all the debris, kind of smooth the plot out, get it ready for the seed, but it's not working. So I called my buddy up. He's got an attachment. It's a soil conditioner and he's going to come over, um, hopefully tomorrow or Monday at the latest. Today is Saturday. Um, we're postponing the project. We actually didn't get the rain that we were expecting. So that's good because I didn't get any seed in the ground. It's actually taken a little bit longer than I expected. However, um, when my buddy comes over tomorrow, he's gonna take and soil condition all this. We're not gonna use the harrow. And I'm excited about that because this was gonna take me probably a good half a day to a day to get this harrow and drag it all over the place. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and put, the, put together a, an extension we bought for the Muddy Bull Blind. It's another five feet. Um, so that'll get us another five feet up higher. That's gonna be really exciting. Then I'll have my buddy come over tonight um, and yes, I have a lot of buddies, but I'll have my other buddy come over tonight, the one that came over with the tractor yesterday, and he's gonna move that muddy bull blind, probably position it right there. That'll give us about a 30 to 35 yard shot to the pond, and it'll pretty much, it'll kind of put us more in the, the, the general area to where we might have a little clover plot there. We'll have the soybeans out here, and then we're still contemplating whether or not we wanna do that in corn back there, or do that soybeans. But putting that, that blind over there is gonna put us in a good position, I think, to get uh, a variety of shots between the pond, the soybeans, and possibly some clover. So, yeah, that's, that's where we're at now. So my buddy that has the Harley rake, he comes over, he's got this uh, attachment, it's a stump puller. And, you know, I've been here for about three years and just trying to get stumps out of the ground has been 
I've never had somebody come out with a stunt puller, so it's always been a big issue. So we get him over here, and I mean, he gets this attachment out and starts going to work, and boy, it was satisfying to say the least, just watching all this stuff getting pulled, it was great. So this piece of equipment that this guy's used, it did wonders. I mean, it sifted the ground up, it got the seed ready to plant. However, uh, the more and more he kept getting into it, the more roots he would pull up. So we ended up dragging it with the harrow um, like we originally didn't plan, but that's okay. We ended up coming back with some snippers and snipping a bunch of roots out, using a chainsaw, that sort of thing, cutting as many roots out as we can, drug over it with the harrow about probably four or five times, got it really smooth. And I mean, it just turned out absolutely beautiful. Well guys, that wraps it up for this one. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we worked really hard to try to get this stuff out to you guys as soon as possible. Um, and also wanted to just kind of walk you guys through and show you what you can take, you know, with, with a small uh, piece of property. You can take it and really do a lot of things with it. We got the seed put in the ground and we'll do a couple more follow-up videos throughout the rest of the summer as the stuff continues to grow. Um, hopefully we get another good rain to get the seeds germinated really well. We've got 14 to 18 foot tall sorghum that we've got planted back there right now. Uh, that's gonna create our cover, our wall. And then we'll have, we're probably gonna end up doing corn just to create that much more cover. Uh, like I said, for where the trees, for where we eliminated the trees. Um, and then we've got soybeans for food. So you can have a small food plot. Sometimes those work good. Um, in our case, we wanted to add more food uh, and eliminating the trees that we took out. We had to come up with a plan uh, to create some more cover. So. You know, you can do things like add more food and add more cover um, to hopefully enhance the deer coming to your property all the more. A pond that we added, that was another thing that was cool. Um, so yeah, there's always little things that you can do um, to help improve your deer hunting on your piece of property, even if it's really, really small. So again, guys, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, we've got more content coming your way. Um, we're pushing out some more videos. We've got some uh, some more interesting stuff happening up in northern Oklahoma. We're still working on this lease uh, in my hometown. Uh, so stay tuned, guys. We've got more coming your way. We appreciate it.